again, the resolution is that abortion be legalized in all 50 states. Uh, pro speaker, beyond the choice. Yes. Uh, illegalized is not a word, so legal. Uh, just a little disclaimer, nothing I say here actually reflects my political opinions. Okay. Um, ever since the times, ancient times, the Bible itself has um, recorded instances of abortion. Greek mythos and Kronos, not wanting his children who were um, prophesied to overthrow him. And even with Native Americans, hoping that their children would not be subject to the slavery by Spanish masters, have all been recorded and known for utilizing abortion techniques. And until now, it has never been safe. But now it is safe. We have the technology to make it happen, and we have the technology to make it happen safely. If you were a baby in a woman's womb, would you rather get killed because by having your spine, the center of your nervous system broken, so that you can't feel anything, and then just being ripped apart? Or would you rather have your head banged against the wall? Would you rather fall down the stairs? Or would you, have, would you rather have your nervous system broken down so you don't have to feel a single thing? And have you seen what pregnancy does to a girl? There's hormones, God hormones. They act up like no other. And a watermelon being shoved out of you don't even want to know where. There are things that pregnancy does to a woman's body regarding the shape, the hormones, the brain itself, and the pain that they have to go through. No person should have to be subject to that against their will. Childbearing was considered an honor, something that was to be um, praised, something that was an Something that you did because you wanted to have children and you wanted to raise them and have your own bearing onto the world. But if you want to get rid of the child, how are you going to be in any way help the world by having this child? So, furthermore, what about some extreme conditions? What if you're raped? Do you really want to have that child of the man who so deeply hurt you, so deeply abused you, who um, trespassed to, onto you so greatly? And furthermore, you know, you may or may not know that genes affect the way you think. They influence the way you are. When you have a rapist baby, they may be carrying the genes, which in their mind makes them so much more sexually active, which makes them want to do things such as rape, which makes them want to abuse power over other people. What if that baby will kill you? What if you're in a medical situation where you have to choose between you or your baby? Sure, some people would say, I would gladly give up my life for my child. But that's not the case for everyone. And if you're alive, you can have more children. If you're dead, you have one person, one baby who may or may not live to make your bearing on the world. What if you're financially or mentally incapable of taking care of that baby? Our foster care system is over flooded to this day. I and mean, not all the children in our orphanages are being adopted. The, ch the chances of being adopted as a child, even if you have that child is so slim. Do they really deserve a life where they're abandoned, they feel like nobody wants them, where they feel like they were an accident and that their parents just gave them up because they had to and they just had to continue on in life knowing that nobody would adopt them and nobody may want them in their view. And what if you have genetic disorders such as Huntington's? You found out you're 40 and you're pregnant and you have Huntington's. Your child will grow up to be 40 before becoming mentally incapable, before going through immense amounts of trauma and God knows what for these people. Do you really want to pass that on to your children? Huntington's. We're all about rights here in America. No concrete scientific evidence says that these children are alive, that these children are sentient. We have condoms which kill sperm all the time. We have birth control pills preventing eggs from being released. Isn't masturbation the very act of masturbation killing thousands of babies if you want to go that way? Thousands of sperm are dying every time a man masturbates. Are we legalizing masturbation? No, we're not. I think there's a reason to that. And how can we really focus on the rights of an individual baby who may or may not be sentient, who may or may not be conscious, and say that their rights are more important than the individual rights of a woman who can have more children, who has a bearing to make on the world? For the woman, can I please say legalize abortion? Thank you. Um, when, in, in six minutes, at the end, if he it finishes his speech, he has enough time. 
You can yield it to the chair, which is me, or you can yield it to questions, where you guys just basically ask him any questions for our remaining time he has left, which is a minute 45, starting. <laughs> Are you aware that uh, sperm cells do not have 46, 46 chromosomes and are not in developing embryos, therefore you're not killing babies? You are only getting rid of a gamete cell, which does not have 46 chromosomes, therefore it is not a developing human being, which means that Jake, sit down. Not Excuse Jake, me, sit what's down. the question? He's uh, asking me if I'm aware that sperm cells are not human. You're right, but they are living things. The definition of a cell in of itself is the smallest unit of living, like of life. And meiosis is a process of cell division. Ergo, we can safely say that as a result of meiosis, sperm cells are alive. Thank you. What percent of those abortions that you said that were women getting abortions that were raped are there and that exist every year? Exactly. I have a statistic with me, but I say that multiple cases of rape can be one instance, but there's also the possibility of passing out a disease such as Huntington's or being um, having a child of a murderer or having an abusive parent who may or may not have the alcoholic genes of that father. There's a lot of instances in which case abortion may be the best choice. What ifs, what ifs in your answers? Well, I would like to know what exactly are you assuring by still allowing women to have abortions? In the case in which those what ifs occur, these women have the option to rid themselves of the baby if need be. That's all it was. Point of inquiry? Uh, denied. Uh, is there any further questions? <laughs> all right, Chair, doors are in.